You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work. I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. You traveled some distance to reach Haven. You're from the Circle in Ostwick? I was. It's exciting being away from that life, being somewhere new. Maybe that's selfish, given what's happened. No, it's only fair, I suppose. We are grateful for your assistance. I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars at our local Chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. 13? That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the Order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course, but there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Prior to the Conclave, I'd only encountered Templars in the Circle. Do they do anything besides guard mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it, at times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession at the least. I know how I spent my time in the Circle, but what was a typical day for a Templar? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a Circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's harrowing, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence, on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. We would spend all day with Templars, and yet they rarely spoke to us. A habit often mistaken for coldness, I'm sure. But we are expected to keep a certain distance from our charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? I wanted to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. 
I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing. There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter, your first draft of Lyrium and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. A life of service and sacrifice. Are Templars also expected to give up physical temptations? Physical? Why... <clears throat> why would you... That's not expected. Templars can marry, although there are rules around it, and the Order must grant permission. Some may choose to give up more to prove their devotion, but it's uh, not required. Have you? Me? I... Um... Uh, no, I've taken no such vows. Maker's breath. Can we speak of something else? That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Another time, then. I should get to know you better. We are working together, after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? I grew up in Ferelden, near Honleith. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the Blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? Few who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between Mages and Templars fell apart, an apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's Mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. <sighs> there was tension between Mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order, but Red Lyrium had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. I'll let you return to your work. Is there anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery, but the Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts, not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me, but I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? 
Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I should let you get back to work. The Majors are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. You weren't happy with how I brought in the Majors. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course not. <sighs> I have no intention of endangering your Alliance, but I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the Majors. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. I hope you will accept them as such. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... Do you ever sleep? If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like it. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven, it was close. I'm relieved that you, that so many, made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. Is there anything I should know? Repairs to Skyhold's fortifications are progressing. Our scouts report no immediate threats in the surrounding area. We are fortunate Solus knew of this place. Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from. Theronfall Redoubt. The knights were fed red lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall, until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red lyrium is nothing like the lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. The Red Templars swarming Haven were proof enough. We cannot allow them to gain strength. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Are you angrier at Corypheus or Samson? I don't know. Samson at least should know better. Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I... No longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Cullen, if this can kill you... It hasn't yet. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. 
I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I have asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you... I would rather not consider it. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him. But he had choices. He could have found another path. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. I thought we could talk. Alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... <sighs> What's wrong? You left the Templars, but do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you and what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. 
It seems too much to ask, but I want to. Commander! You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or to your office? Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um, really nice. I believe that was a kiss. But I can't be sure it's all a blur. <laughs> yes. Well... Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? The Commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. You don't have much patience for nobility. I'm glad my title didn't scare you off. I hadn't considered. I have no title outside the Inquisition. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone in my life. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. Think you could slip away? I believe so. Wait for me. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Samson's a menace. If we can't defeat him, no one stands a chance. Then we must destroy the armor. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. We need an expert in enchantments. Perhaps they could find a way to ruin Samson's armor. You asked for my opinion and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... Forgive me. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? Yes, he trusted your judgment on the matter. He was not interested in my judgment today. Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. And he wouldn't want to... risk your disappointment. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time.
Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. Cullen, if you need to talk... You don't have... To. <laughs> I never meant for this to interfere. Are you going to be all right? Yes. I don't know. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my Knight Commander, and for what? Hmm? Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but these thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. I should be taking it. This doesn't have to be about the Inquisition. Is this what you want? <sighs> no. But these memories have always haunted me. If they become worse, if I... if I cannot endure this... You can. <sighs> All right. No red lyrium, no allies, and soon Samson will have no armor, I hope. You hope? Dagnus started work on her red lyrium samples, but she needs more details on the armor. We found orders in the mine. They mentioned Maddox, a name I did not expect to hear. Samson's letter said something about taking over as the vessel. Perhaps it's a rank among the Red Templars. It could be a title from ancient to winter. Or it's some other role Corypheus has planned for Samson, and Maddox is part of it. Another voice from your past. In a way, this is complicated. Maddox was a mage in Kirkwall's circle. Samson smuggled letters between him and his sweetheart. Eventually, Samson was caught. That's why he was cast out of the order. Maddox was made tranquil and became a skilled craftsman of magical items. Samson must have rescued him. I can't believe they made a man tranquil over a few love letters. The official charge was corrupting the moral integrity of a Templar. Knight Commander Meredith wielded the brand for far lesser offenses, believe me. Why would Maddox need saving? When the mages rebelled in Kirkwall, the worst battles took place at the gallows in the circle itself. I thought Maddox had died in the fighting, or was eking out a living on the streets. A hard fate for a tranquil in Kirkwall. Samson must have found him, taken him in. Perhaps there's something left of the man Samson used to be. Or he's shrewd enough to know an extraordinary resource. It seems Maddox built Samson's armor for him, and maintains it still. Tranquil and Kirkwall needed rare and expensive supplies for their enchantments. Supplies we can trace. I can have our men kick down some doors, Inquisitor. Samson's armor might lead us right to his stronghold. What have you found? We have him, Inquisitor. We found Samson's lair. My duties usually keep me here, but for Samson, I'll make an exception. Samson still has that red lyrium armor. All the more reason for me to go. I would sleep better if I knew I would be at your side. We'll depart at your leave.
Hello, Inquisitor. You know me? It's Maddox. Samson's tranquil. Something's wrong. I'll send for the healers. That would be a waste, Knight Captain Cullen. I drank my entire supply of Blightcap essence. It won't be long now. We only wanted to ask you questions, Maddox. Yes. That is what I could not allow. I destroyed the camp with fire. We all agreed it was best. Our deaths ensured Samson had time to escape. You threw your lives away? For Samson? Why? Samson saved me even before he needed me. He gave me purpose again. I... wanted to help. We should check the camp. Maddox may have missed something. A dismal place to die. It can't have been much of a place to live either under Samson's command. What else do you remember about Samson, the man he used to be? Does it matter? He used to be kind, only carries so far. Yet Maddox died to help him escape. Samson does command loyalty. Is there anything in the camp that could help, or point us to Samson? Mm, it's hard to tell. All I see is smoke and ash. If this is Samson's idea of remaking the world, I prefer yours. We can't leave Maddox here. He should be properly laid to rest. I'll have someone take care of it. If even Samson did his best for Maddox, we can do no less. I'll keep looking around. The Red Lyrium deposits are being destroyed, and we've cut the Red Templars down to the core. It's a pity Maddox thought his sacrifice was the only answer. But that leaves Samson with a severely curtailed army, and enchanted army he can't maintain. You did it. We both fought to make this happen. Don't sell yourself short. Well, I... thank you. But my work's not done yet. We're getting recruits by the hour. There's more than a few ex-Templars among them. We've struck a blow and given people hope. This is a true victory. Inquisitor, I finished it. Are you talking? Sorry. Have it anyhow. <laughs> you mean this rune? It's not just any rune. I made it with red lyrium and what's left of poor Maddox's tools. The rune acts on the median fissures of lyrium to... It'll destroy Samson's armor. He'll be powerless. We'll cut Corypheus off from his most powerful officer. Maddox covered Samson's tracks thoroughly. But wherever Samson's retreated, we'll find him. Your army stands ready, Inquisitor. For Samson, for Corypheus, for whatever you command. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was well, not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. The way I saw mages, I'm not sure I would have cared about you. The thought of that sickens me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. For what it's worth, I like who you are now. Even after? Cullen, I care about you. You've done nothing to change that. What about you? You have troubles of your own. How are you holding on? Honestly, I'm terrified. So many people depend on us, on me. Corypheus is still out there. We've made great strides. Do not doubt yourself, or the Inquisition, just yet. If there's anything I can do, you have only to ask. May I ask you something? Always. 
Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen to lead that life, but I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. What would you suggest? Some call the Circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the Circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to Lyrium. Some call it a gift, to forget the failed harrowings, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. I like the sound of that. I'm not sure it's the answer, but something needs to change. You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden? After the Ferelden Circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. You said Meredith was unstable. She was my Knight Commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the Blood Mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the Mages. There was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. I believed she was serving the city. I never thought to question her. Not until it was too late. You can't control everything. You stood up to her in the end. If I hadn't, would I be like her now? I wanted mages locked away as much as she did. I trusted they were treated reasonably well, but I should have done more. I should have looked into it. It's not yet enough. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. I will see it through. The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I hadn't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many possibilities. If you don't mind my asking, the hero of Ferelden was a Circle Mage. Did you know her? I attended her harrowing, actually. She was a lovely woman. Lovely? There was some youthful infatuation on my part. A feeling I had forsaken until recently. You never acted on it? She was one of my charges. Even if she felt the same, it would have been inappropriate. I saw her once after she became a warden. She freed the tower during the Blight. I would be dead or mad if not for her. I was in a sorry state when she found me. The things I said were unkind, untoward. I regret them now. I wish she knew that. You've mentioned siblings. With everything that's happening, do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Your sister tracked you down. She didn't know where you were. I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. It's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the Blight. That's all I wanted to know. Another time, then. There you are. Were you waiting for me? Yes. I mean, no. I can come back later if you'd prefer. No. Please stay. We have some dealings in Ferelden. I was hoping you might accompany me. When you can spare the time, of course. Is something wrong? What? No. I, I would rather explain there, if you wish to go. I believe there's time now. I will make the necessary arrangements. Where are we? You walk into danger every day. I wanted to take you away from that, if only for a moment. I grew up not far from here. This place was always quiet. Did you come here often? I loved my siblings, but they were very loud. I would come here to clear my head. Of course, they always found me eventually. You were happy here. I was. I still am. Alone with a mage? That doesn't concern you. The Templars have rules on fraternization, but I'm no longer bound by them. I know, but you've seen the worst mages have to offer. How can you not see that in me? I don't. 
If I've given you reason to doubt, of course I have. Whatever I fear of magic, I see none of that in me. The last time I was here was the day I left for Templar training. My brother gave me this. It just happened to be in his pocket, but he said it was for luck. Templars are not supposed to carry such things. Our faith should see us through. You broke the Order's rules. I'm shocked. Until a year ago, I was very good at following them. <laughs> Most of the time. This was the only thing I took from Ferelden that the Templars didn't give me. Humor me. We don't know what you'll face before the end. This can't hurt. I'll keep it safe. Good. I know it's foolish, but I'm glad. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. I don't suppose you'd save a dance for me? No, thank you. Oh. No, I didn't mean to make his breath. I've answered that question so many times, I'm rejecting it automatically. I'm not one for dancing. The Templars never attended balls. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. What's our best course of action? Assuming the claims against Gaspard are false, I believe he'd be the strongest ally. But if it means Selene's death, can we make such a choice in good conscience? Brial is an option. One that only complicates matters further. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. Not enjoying the attention, then? Hardly. Anyway, yours... <clears throat> yours is the only attention worth having. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I'll let you know at once if I do. We'll talk later. There you are. Everyone's been looking for you. Things have calmed down for the moment. Are you all right? Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. This whole operation had me on edge. I'm, I'm glad it's over. I know it's foolish, but I was worried for you tonight. I may never have another chance like this, so I must ask. May I have this dance, my lady? Of course. I didn't know you could dance. For you, I'll try. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. At least there was dancing. <laughs> or an attempt at it, anyway. I thought you did well. Well, I'm grateful for your poor taste in dance partners. Is there anything I should know? My senior officers report that the soldiers are in good spirits. Having the Imperial Army as an ally has bolstered their confidence. The Orlesian military is highly regarded. Of course, I'd wager our own recruits are equal to any Chevalier. Ryland's men will monitor the situation. Yes, sir. We'll begin preparations at once. In the meantime, we'll send soldiers to... ...assist with the relief effort. That will be all. Sir. There's always something more, isn't there? Wishing we were somewhere else? <laughs> I barely found time to get away before. This war won't last forever. When it started, I... Well, I hadn't considered much beyond our survival. But things are different now. What do you mean? I find myself wondering what will happen after... When this is over, I... I won't want to move on. Not from you. But I... I don't know what you... That is, if you... Uh, 
Cullen, do you need to ask? I suppose not. I want... I didn't mean to worry you. Despite the dreams, is it still a good morning? <laughs> it's perfect. You are... Oh, I have never felt anything like this. I love you. You know that, right? I love you too. Is there anything I should know? Only that I'm never playing cards again. I still can't find my... No, it doesn't matter. I don't know how Varric talked me into that. That's too bad. Watching you lose made me want to play cards more often. I do not need help embarrassing myself in front of you. You were blushing. It was adorable. Make us breath. <laughs> Forgive me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Knight Templar Samson, general to Corythius, traitor to the Order. The blood on his hands cannot be measured. His head is too valuable to take. Kirkwall, Orlais, many would see him suffer. I can't say I'm not one of them. Judging him will affect as many as his crimes. I won't take it lightly. The Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order, used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Piss on it. I followed him so Templars could at least die at their best. Same lie as the Chantry. The Prophet just isn't as pretty. I found your people. They believed in you, believed your cause was righteous. Not your business, Inquisitor. Your friend Maddox was so loyal he killed himself. For you. They were always going to die. I saw what Corypheus was doing. So yes, I fed them hope instead of despair. I made them believe their pain had purpose, just like the Chantry does. <laughs> right, Commander? It ended as well as anything else I've done. Corypheus would kill me on sight. I'll tell your people what they want. Everything I cared about is destroyed. Very well. Samson, you will spend your remaining years serving the Inquisition. Cullen will be your handler. Perhaps he can get something useful out of you. I doubt the Commander believes there's anything worthy left in me. You're not wrong, but you served something greater than yourself once. Perhaps you can be made to remember that. Samson took everything from those Templars. He corrupted their souls, twisted them into everything they stood against, everything they would have hated. You're letting Samson get to you. And what if I am? The Red Lyrium left Samson's mind unaltered. He knew what he was doing. He dares speak as though it were a mercy, 
The man's a monster. I pray his information is useful. His life is good for little else. Samson is everything you say, but it's over. You have to let this go. Over for us, perhaps. For Samson. Not for those still controlled by Corypheus. The Red Templars needed to be torn down. We've broken Corypheus' army. I might have known some of them. If my life had gone differently, I might have been one of them. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you had not been at the Conclave? If you'd never become the Inquisitor? A life without you? Never. I do not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold. Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? I don't think Morrigan would keep it here if that were true. Yes. Morrigan said as much when I asked her. Oh? She said I was unreasonable, then offered to explain how the Illuvian works using words with less than four syllables. Ah. The Circle had a library. I'm fairly well read. Right. I'm not unreasonable. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the Maker's light, and nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost, and those I am afraid to lose. You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mithal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes, you will be thrown into his path again. Andraste, preserve me. I must send you to him. There's nothing to worry about. I have luck on my side, remember? <laughs> That's less comforting than I'd hoped. Whatever happens, you will come back. Is that an order, Commander? No. But as one of your advisors, I strongly recommend it. <laughs> if you say so. We have a moment. <laughs> I think you're right. You brought us here. You are proof that the Inquisition made a difference. That we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention, as much as I might want it for myself. You managed to slip away. I thought I might claim more of your attention after all. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Good. The battle's over. There will be a new divine. Yet I don't care about anything other than you being alive. Come.
Cullen. I don't know what happens after this. Neither do I. <sighs> you there! You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You... found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. <clears throat> Tire of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? <clears throat> He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, I think he likes me. I never expected you to make friends at a political council. How times have changed. <laughs> so they have. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Still, I've found certainty in my life now. The council won't change that. Marry me. What? I mean, will you... I, uh, I had a plan, and... Uh, it wasn't a dog, but you were... Uh, it doesn't matter. I've thought of little else, and I don't need a plan. Only to know if you would. I would. Cullen, I will. You will. People will notice the Inquisitor marrying her commander in the middle of the Exalted Council. It won't go over well, but we know a few people who can keep things... secret. Just know, everything feels like it was worth fighting for. <laughs> Always so serious. Just focus here. This is... This is the part where you make a promise. Oh, right. <clears throat> I swear unto the Maker and the Holy Andraste to love this woman the rest of my days. There you are. I... I just realized I'm greeting my wife. I rather like this. Maker, you're a lovely sight. Have you had a chance to speak with Leliana? Away from work, I mean. Some, yes. Liliana has kept in contact, unofficially of course, but it's good to see her again. Arguing with her in person is far more satisfying. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half-dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. But you're still glad I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Very much so. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. Is there any news from Ferelden? How is your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. I sense a threat to my commander's chess superiority. I'm sure the defeat will be distressing. I... he's four. You could at least pretend I'd throw the game. <laughs> I should go. Inquisitor? <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? A few years ago, we railed at the mages at Redcliffe for becoming corrupt. 
We did the same to the Grey Wardens. Huh. <laughs> Look at us now. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orlais and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. It's fine. It's under control for now. But we don't have a lot of time. I need to get to the Darvarad. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana... I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make her watch over you.